Hello, friends. So the other day, I was visiting a friend's apartment, and I walked past a mirror. And so usually, this wouldn't be something particularly memorable. But in this case, it was pretty awesome. Somehow, the person that I saw in the mirror was thin and even kind of lanky. He looked like a slimmer, more shaped version of myself. Ooh la la, not a bad look at all. It was really quite an astonishing sight indeed, and it made me pretty happy to see. And I even cracked a smile, not only as I looked at my embellished self, which was definitely pretty nice to look at, but I was also smiling because I remembered that, etymologically, this feeling of joy and amazement that you get when looking into a mirror is supposed to be what looking into a mirror is all about. You see, mirrors are supposed to make you admire what you see when you look into one. In fact, the word admire is related to the word mirror. Through French, both words are descended from the Latin verb miror, which meant to marvel at. Those of you who know Spanish may recognize another descendant of the Latin verb mirar, which is the Spanish verb mirar, which means to look at. And in Portuguese, that same verb mirar means to aim. And now if we go back even further to Proto-Indo-European, we can see how the root of our modern word for mirror came to mean to laugh in other modern languages distantly related to English, like Russian, for example, among others. So in that sense, from an etymological perspective, admiring your reflection and marveling at how good you look are perfectly appropriate things to do when looking into a mirror. Interestingly, another common English word that is related to mirror is miracle, because apparently, originally, what you saw in a mirror, which in Roman times was called a miraculum, was supposed to be a sight that was so marvelous that you could call it a miracle. Like, for example, the fact that a mirror can make a sedentary and, let's be honest, out-of-shape person like me look like an athlete. Yeah, that's definitely a miracle. So it seems that when you look into a mirror, you're supposed to see something pretty amazing. Kind of like what I saw when I looked into my friend's mirror. Which, as my friend eventually pointed out, was actually a little concave, and therefore a little misleading. Or should I say, optimistic. So yes, looks can be deceiving, especially ones involving a concave mirror. But when it comes to showing you what you want to see, and bringing a smile to your face, to me at least, the object in the mirror is definitely a sight worth seeing. Thanks for watching.